What up? That's right, it is Friday, guys. Thank you for joining me again on the Friday Lounge. Friday Lounge is all about just kicking back, cracking into a beer, uh, talking about some fishing and just about what I got coming up and what I have done on the last weekend. But I would like to hear from you guys as well. So make sure you comment on the YouTube and Facebook links and let me know how your fishing adventures went in the weekend. I am really, really excited to know what you guys actually get up to, apart from just me telling you guys what I get up to. Let's kick off the Friday Lounge like we always do. Got a bit of um, pirate life coming straight down the pipeline. So this is just a, uh, a pale ale. I thought I'd give it a crack. Pirates are cool, everyone likes pirates. Yeah, Friday. Look at all that head, look at that. Jesus, there's more than that than, <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with a bit of head, but Jesus. I suppose, <laughs> no, no, I'm not even gonna go there. I'm not even gonna go there, guys. We'll keep it PG. Bang, that is how Fridays should be finished and the weekends should start. If you don't like beer, well, I don't know. Oh yeah, pretty good. Couldn't tell you what's in it. Don't know. Literally says nothing on the can. But that's um, that's a pretty good pail. I'm not too much into the pails, but I can I can drink a few of them. Chris, they. That's also what we like to do. If you're just watching this for the first time, or you're a veteran of joining me on the Friday Lounge, you will know or may not know, that uh, we like to get into a bit of vaping. The e-juice that I am, let me just clear some of this. The e-juice that I'm actually uh, vaping out at the moment is um, called Beta. Beta, straight up. So it's actually a, a granny apple and peach uh, juice uh, with a little bit of menthol. I've had a something from, it's by the Alternative line, I've had uh, a juice by the Alternative line before and it tasted horrendous. <laughs> I, it just wasn't good, I've watched other reviewers, they liked it, I was obviously not tasting what they were tasting, I thought it was disgusting. But this one's pretty good, so Granny Smith apple, peach and a little bit of menthol. I'm not too much into the menthols but this has just a tad and um, that's good. It's, a, it's good without being too much. That is gold right there. So guys, um, what can we talk about? Oh, this is exciting. If you haven't seen the, the thuggies yet, I've whipped out the thuggies for the first time this year. I've got home, had a shower, the sun's starting to go down. And guess what? The thug boots, the thuggies have been whipped out for the first time this year. I do love my Ugg boots and they're some big old, look, I'm just gonna show you guys again. Look, look, look at all, look at all this action happening. These are my Santa, these are my Santa Ugg boots. They're my favorite things in the whole world that only see indoor use. Indoor use only for my Ugg boots. They're way too expensive. If you're American, I have no idea what you guys call Ugg boots. Maybe you do call them Ugg boots, but I'm pretty sure. I know Canadians call them something really just whack. But Australia, Ugg boots. Thug boots, the thuggies. So that's exciting. But uh, what have I been up to? I went out to, I've been doing a little bit of, a uh, little bit of time on the road lately. I did shoot down to Glenbourne, St. Clair and New South Wales uh, the other week just to practice for a couple days on each DM and see how it was fishing. Uh, I won't say too much on that because I do have the tournament coming up next week that I'm leaving for, so we'll leave that one until I come back. Um, uh, last weekend, we did have a long weekend. I hope you guys got out and got some fishies, went away on the dams or even out in the salt water. Sure, salt water's fun. I like fresh water. Fresh water's nice and easy, I don't need to clean my stuff down like crazy after the salt. But, I did get out to Lake Burnduma, up in Queensland. We do have some, uh, the Queensland doubleheader coming up in July, the start of July. 
So I got out and fished Burnderma for a couple days and it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> that is why you don't uh, have a video. I've been pretty slack on the videos lately because the fishing's just been tough. A lot of dams are fishing quite similar at the moment and I think it's because the bass are in that transition period of that summer to the winter. So in the winter, our Australian bass, they actually, they go into their spawn mode. So our Australian bass don't, they can't actually breed in our dams because the way that Australian bass work is they need to find the brackish water to actually lay their eggs. Uh, unfortunately, dams being dams, that's blocked. So they basically go into uh, a kind of kind of a pre-spawn, I guess, if that's if that's what you'd call it. And they just sit deep. They school really, really deep, up to like 60 foot of water, 70 foot of water, and they sit in giant schools. And they will not really come out of those schools to feed as such. So you've got to get the lure right down through them and they're just going to smack it. And then, then you can get the big fish. Um, then you can get uh, the nice big winter bass females that we like to put on our weigh scales. But uh, yeah, they're sort of in between that transition at the moment. I did find a lot of fish sort of in that 20 to 30 foot of water at Burnduma, but they would not eat a thing and I was with my mate Adam and he can vouch for me that we threw everything in my tackle box and you're lucky to pull up the odd one. I was throwing everything in every retrieve you could possibly throw it and they just weren't chewing. So that was uh, that was pretty frustrating actually to see on my side scan on my Hummingbird Helix 10 units just my side scan was just peppered with fish and they just wouldn't eat. You couldn't pull one up. So I felt like crying and having a mental breakdown, but we got through it <laughs> with the help of some alcohol and some, just some good times with the mate. But that was my last weekend just gone, and then I rest and recovered on the Monday that we had on the public holiday for Labor Day, which is great. I love public holidays. I don't think we've got a public holiday coming up in Australia for a little while, which is... Uh, that sucks. The first half of the year here is always awesome. If you live in America, I'd love to know if you've got a better half of the year for public holidays. In Australia, our first half of the year is phenomenal. We just have long weekends, Mondays off, Fridays off all the time. And then the second part of the year, it's like we spend them all in the first half and it sucks. But that was that. Anyway, guys, uh, I did drop off the prizes to Jamie and mark the winners of my last Kitec giveaway. Jamie's actually sent me a photo, which is fantastic. He was the big winner of all the Kitec plastics. So he's uh, already enjoying it without even using it. So that is good. That's good to know, mate. And Mark, uh, hopefully you are, uh, I mean, it's only a hat, but hey, it's, it's a free hat and anything free is good. So thank you guys for supporting me. I do have the next big giveaway coming up in a couple of weeks. So make sure you stay tuned and stick around for that. Anyway, guys, it's weekend time. That's it for me. Thank you for joining me on the Friday Lounge. As always, my animal is asleep on the ground. I don't know if you could hear him snoring, but he's snoring. He, he always sleeps. That's all he does. He's either awake and going nuts, or he's out, asleep, snoring. A dog's life. Love it. Anyway guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already and like my video. It does mean a lot. All those little button pushes on the like button and the subscribe button really do help me build my channel up to what I'm trying to get it to. And while you're there, jump over to my Instagram and Facebook, Keegan Painter Fishing, and check me out on there and just keep up to date with my day to day and what I'm doing. Thank you again guys for watching and joining me on the Friday Lounge. Have an awesome weekend. I will see you next Friday. I might be dropping a live video next Friday from Lake Glenbourne on my tournament. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that. That's gonna be pretty fun. We might talk to a few of the boys or whoever's around. Everyone's pretty secretive on their lures, but um, we will go and have a chat and see what's up. Thanks for watching. I am out. Bam.